Hello and welcome to your practice. I'm Becky. Today we're going to work on a practice that's just kind of short and sweet and sometimes you just want to do a little bit of yoga uh, quickly. You just want to get a little stretch in. Maybe you've been working too hard or sitting too long. So today's going to be a practice kind of unscripted. I'm just going to get on my mat and just take you through whatever I would do when I get on my mat. So I'm going to keep it nice and short, nice and simple. And so let's get started down on our back. This is what I would do if I just wanted to do a little practice on my own. So come down onto your back. Let's start with knees bent. Tuck your chin a little bit. Separate the feet about hip width apart, arms at your side, palms up. And I'm just going to ask you to lay here and let the body start to soften from whatever you've been doing sitting or a lot of work or you've been busy or not busy just let the body kind of slow down feel the feet on the mat so even just wiggle the toes a little feel the feet on the mat feel the backs of the arms on the mat and we'll loosen up the hips and low back so let's rock the hips and the knees a little side to side, just a little rocking motion to loosen up the hips, the back, the legs. Good, and we'll bring the knees to center. Let's inhale. With your exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. We'll hug the knee. Couple breaths. So this is great just to help release any tension in the back. We'll stretch the right foot up to the ceiling. Circle the right ankle <clears throat> in one direction. Loosen up that ankle joint. Circle in the opposite direction. And then point and flex the right foot. So just warming up the right leg. Keep the right foot flexed. Exhale, bring the right knee into the chest. Relax the shoulders. Retuck the chin a little bit. Let's stretch the left leg out on the mat. Lengthen the left leg from the hip all the way down through the bottom of the foot. Both feet are flexed. Big breaths into the low belly. Let's rebend the left knee. Bring the left foot to the floor. Bring the right foot to the floor. And we'll rock the hips and the knees a little side to side. Just balancing that out. Bring the knees to center. Inhale with your exhale. We'll bring the left knee into the chest. Hug the knee. Tuck the chin. Relax the shoulders. Couple breaths. And then we'll stretch the left foot up to the ceiling. Circle the left ankle. Let your toes wiggle around a bit. Circle in the opposite direction. Point and flex the left foot. Working this left leg, left foot, left ankle. Keep the left foot flexed. Exhale, bring the left knee back into the chest. Relax the shoulders. Lengthen the back of the neck. We'll stretch the right leg out on the mat. Lengthen the right leg from the hip all the way down through the bottom of the foot. And we keep both feet flexed. A couple big breaths into the low belly. Rebend the right knee, bring the right foot to the floor, bring the left foot to the floor, arms at your side, rock the hips and the knees side to side. Let's bring the knees to center, inhale, exhale, bring both knees into the chest, roll the whole back body side to side. Now, shoulders and hips, upper back, mid back, low back, getting a little rocking motion. So. Just the weight of our body here rolling on the mat brings some blood flow and energy and circulation to all those muscles of the back. Let's bring our knees to center. Stretch both feet up to the ceiling. Feet hip width apart, feet flexed. Let's take a yoga walk. One knee bends, opposite foot stretches up to the ceiling. Good. So take it slow. Don't go too fast. Get a nice extension. On the back of the leg, we want to push up through the heel, through the inner arch, through the ball of the foot. Let's bring both knees back into the chest. Use your abdominals. Don't let the back lift. Don't let the back arch. Bring the feet down to the floor. They can come down one at a time. Once the bottoms of the feet 
touch the floor. Let's bring the bottoms of the feet together, knees open, recline cobbler's pose. So a little natural arch is going to come to the low back. Just enjoy that natural arch. If it doesn't feel good, you can pick up the hips and shift them down towards the heels. But we're just letting the groin area open up. And then bring the arms either out into a T position with the palms up or into a cactus arm position, palms up. Let the arms and legs relax as much as possible. Let the hips and shoulders relax as much as possible. Keep some length in the back of the neck. So just a slight tuck to the chin. And we work on those belly breaths. Inhale, belly rises. Exhale, belly falls. So this is great for the immune system, opening up the major lymph nodes in the groin area and in the armpit area. One more nice inhale and one more nice exhale. Let's bring the arms down by our side. Bring the knees together. We're going to keep the feet on the floor, knees bent, knees stacked over the heels, feet hip width apart, arms at your side, palms up. We're going to go into a pelvic tilt. Inhale, tailbone presses down into the mat, waistline lifts. Exhale, waistline presses down, tailbone curls up. So nice and slow breath, and your body movement is matching that breath. Inhale, waistline lifts. Exhale, waistline presses down. Just loosening up the low back, the hips. This is also good for toning the abs. So when that waistline presses down, we do activate those transverse abdominals, the deep abdominal muscles. Good. Come to neutral. We're going to lift up into bridge. So we're going to keep the knees bent, knees over the heels, feet hip width apart, arms at our side, palms down. We'll take that pelvic tilt to lift up into bridge. So inhale first. Exhale, press your waistline down into the mat. Inhale, lead with the hips. Lift up nice and slow, as high as feels good. And then walk the shoulder blades in towards each other a little bit. Knees are parallel. Weights even on both feet. Let the belly be nice and soft and relaxed. Bottom slightly firm. Big, slow breaths. Lift the chest up towards the chin just a little bit more to activate the thyroid, the thyroid gland in the neck. Good. One more nice inhale. One more nice exhale. And we're going to lower down with breath. So inhale first. Exhale, start to move the shoulder blades apart and lower the spine down one vertebra at a time. Once your hips are down, hug the knees into the chest. We'll roll side to side. So just roll out that whole back body. Good. Bring the knees to center. Use your abdominals. Don't let the back lift. We're going to bring the feet down to the floor. Roll over onto your side, either side. Come up to sitting and then come up into hands and knees table. So grab a little padding for the knees if you need. I'm going to put a blanket under my knees, but you can use a towel or a blanket, or maybe you're on a, a padded surface that you don't need it. We'll be in table pose, hands and knees, wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Take a look at the fingers. Index fingers are parallel to each other. The other fingers spread out from there. We're going to go into cat cow breath. Exhale, round the spine up. Inhale, arch the spine. Good. Exhale, round, tuck the chin, round the spine up as high as you can, pull your belly button up. Inhale, tilt the hips, arch the back, let the belly stretch. Exhale, round up. Inhale, arch, pull the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen the neck. Let's do two more of these. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching, stretch the belly, slide the shoulders back. One more. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And then shift back into child's pose. Big toes barely touching. Let the knees separate apart. Let your forehead rest on stacked hands or the mat or on a yoga block. Take some nice, big, slow breaths into the belly, but also into the back body. So feel those back ribs expand with the inhale. From child's pose, we'll go into downward dog. Stretch the hands as far forward as they'll go. Your elbows should be up off the mat. 
Come up into hands and knees. Walk the knees a little closer together. Take a look at the hands. Those fingers, index fingers are still parallel. Fingers spread. Wrists should be forward from the shoulders. Hands at least as wide as your shoulders or a little wider if you have tight shoulders. Curl the toes under. Inhale. With your exhale, lift up, shift back. Tuck the chin. Spread the toes out on the mat. Lift the shoulders up away from the ears. We'll take a little walk. Lower one heel, then the other heel. So one knee bends. Opposite heel moves down towards the floor. Keep tucking the chin. Top of the head points towards the floor, not towards your hands. So we want that back of the neck long. Belly pulls in and up. We want to support the back, support the spine. Working the legs. So uh, downward dog is a really great all over body pose. It's a slight inversion, right? The head is lower than the heart, but we're strengthening arms and legs. We're lengthening the spine. We're working the core. Let's bring the heels level with each other and then come down to knees. Shift back into child's pose. Take a few wrist circles or wiggle the fingers. And then rest the forehead down on stacked hands or the mat or a yoga block. Wobble hips and shoulders a little side to side. Uh, just working the body, stretching it out, keeping the body moving and fluid. Make your way back up to hands and knees. Table. We're going to take three cat breaths. Wrists under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arch. Two more. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. One last one. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Come to neutral. We're going to make our way up to standing through squat pose. So curl your toes under. Start to walk your hands back till you're balancing on toes and fingertips. If you had a padding there or a blanket or a towel, scoot that off to the side. We're going to come up to standing through squat pose. So lift the hips up and lower the heels. And now widen your feet a little wider than the hips. Keep a nice bend in the knees. Bring hands up to above the knees. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, lifting the chest into a halfway lift. So chest is parallel to the floor. Shoulders squeeze together, belly button pulls in and up with strong legs, long spine, hinge all the way up to standing. Good. Once you're up to standing, adjust the clothing, shake it out a little bit. Separate your feet a little wider than the hips. We'll take a few little side swings. So this is nice just to reset the body after uh, we've been down on the mat, working on the mat. We come up to standing, letting everything settle and balance. Good. We'll slow that down. We're going to take three sun breaths. So bring the feet hip width apart, knees and toes pointing straight ahead, arms at your side. Firm up your legs, pull the belly in, scoop it up under the ribs a little bit. Arms at your side. We're going to inhale, bring the hands up overhead. Exhale, we're going to lower the arms back down by our side. We'll take two more of those. Inhale, arms up and the palms are up. Exhale, arms down and the palms are down. Take one more. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Keep the arms down by your side. A few shoulder rolls. Bring the shoulders up and back and down. Up and back and down. Good. As high up, as far back, as far down as they'll go. And then we'll alternate one back and the other back. A little back stroke. We can hold a lot of tension in the upper back and in the shoulders. Good. Shake that out. We're going to go into warrior two pose. Take a wide leg stance on your mat. Right toes turn out to the right. Left heel shifts back a little bit. So we want to line up our right heel. Draw a line. It should intersect the left arch. Hips are even. And we're going to bend the right knee, right knee over the heel. Shoulders over the hips. The right knee opens out to the right a little bit. Inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Scoop the belly in and up. We'll turn and look over the right fingertips. Middle finger is your gaze point. Keep relaxing the shoulders down. So lift the heart and squeeze the shoulder blades together a little bit as you scoop the belly in and up and the weights even on both feet, both legs. Let's exhale and lower the arms. Straighten the right knee. Parallel the feet. We'll take the feet in the other direction. Left toes out to the left, shift the right heel back a little bit, and then line up left heel, right arch. 
we're going to bend the left knee, left knee over the heel, get the hips level. So don't let that left hip drop. We want hips level, shoulders over the hips. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, exhale, relax, shoulders, scoop the belly in and up, turn and look over the left fingertips. Weight even on both feet, lift the heart, scoop the belly in and up, squeeze the shoulder blades together a bit as you continue to take some big belly breaths. Good, we're gonna exhale and lower the arms down, straighten the left leg, parallel the feet, we'll step the feet together. Let's take one sun breath, feet hip width apart, inhale, hands up, exhale, hands down. Good, and we're gonna come back down to the mat. So centering yourself on the mat, we're gonna sit with the knees bent, feet on the floor, hands on the knees, a few seated cat breaths. Inhale, sit tall, long neck, long spine, a little curve in the low back here, and then exhale, round back, arms go straight, round the whole spine, pull the belly in, tuck the chin. Inhale, sit tall, lengthen. Exhale, lean back, round the spine, pull the belly in. So work your abs here a little bit. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, round back. Let's do one more of those. Inhale, sit tall, exhale, rounding back. And then coming up to sitting, bring the hands back behind you one at a time, stretch the legs out, just windshield wiper the feet a bit. And then we're gonna make our way all the way down onto our back. So come down onto your back. Let's hug the knees into the chest and just roll side to side a couple times. Just kind of ironing out that back body. Bring the knees to center. Use your abdominals. Bring the feet down to the floor. Don't let the back arch. Always a good time to work the core a little bit. Going to go into a spinal twist for our last pose. Stretch your left leg out on the mat. Hug the right knee in. Both feet are flexed. Left hand on the right knee. Right arm at your side. Right palm is up. Inhale. With your exhale, take the right knee over to the left. So we roll onto that left hip. Now, if your right shoulder lifted, we want that right shoulder on the mat. So pick up the upper body, shift it over to the left to roll that right shoulder down onto the mat, or just lift your right knee higher. So a couple big breaths. Breathe into the low belly. Breathe into this outer right hip and thigh and glute. Let your head be comfortable. Look straight up or over either shoulder. See what feels best to the neck. Keep both feet flexed. That's engaging the leg muscles, working the legs just a little bit, a little bit more. The main thing is those big breaths into the low belly. Okay, we're going to come out of this twist. Inhale, bring the right knee up, right foot to the floor. Bend the left knee. So both knees bent, feet on the floor, adjust hips and shoulders so you're even on the mat. Right leg stretches out on the mat. Left knee hugs in. Keep the right hand on the left knee, left arm at your side, left palm up, both feet flexed. Inhale, with your exhale, we'll take the left knee over to the right. So we're rolling onto the right hip. Pick up the, the upper body and shift the shoulders over to the right to roll this left shoulder down, or just bring the left knee higher. That'll also get that left shoulder down on the mat. Keep both feet flexed. Big breaths into the low belly. Get the neck comfortable, look straight up or over either shoulder. Let the body relax into the twist. I'm gonna come out of the twist, inhale, bring the left knee up, left foot to the floor, bend your right knee, adjust hips and shoulders. And then we'll go into a short relaxation. So we're done with our yoga poses. You can either stretch the legs out or keep the knees bent. Adjust the arms at your side, palms up, a little tuck of the chin to keep that length in the back of the neck. So get your body as comfortable as possible for this little short final relaxation. Make any little adjustments, bend the knees, stretch the legs out. Tune into the breath, inhale, feel the belly rise. Exhale, feel the belly fall. Just taking a few breaths here in our final relaxation, our Shavasana pose. 
to let the movement, the stretch, the twisting that we did settle into the body. So yoga works the physical body, but it also works the energy body. So we take this short relaxation at the end of our practice to let everything mesh together, to let everything integrate to just take a pause before we get up off the mat and go back into our day. Check that the eyes are relaxed and the jaws relaxed. And we'll wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Let's re-bend the knees. If their legs are stretched out, bring the feet to the floor. We'll come out of our final relaxation. Roll over onto your side, either side. Come up all the way to sitting. Sit comfortable. I like to sit on a yoga block. So come all the way up to sitting. Tailbone moves back slightly. Heart lifts a little. Belly scoops in and up. Let those shoulders relax down. Feel grounded down through your seat. So you can have the legs crossed. You can be kneeling. You can have feet out in front of you. Whatever feels best to that lower body. But you want to have a little curve in the low back. That's why we bring the tailbone back a little bit and lift the heart a little bit. Scoop the belly in and up. Start to feel the breath. We'll bring the palms together, thumbs at the heart. And this ends our short practice. Namaste. So I hope you enjoyed this short practice. It's a great one to do every day. Downward dog works the whole body. Cat cow works the whole body. Spinal twists are great just to balance the body's energy and work on our digestion. And then we had a strong uh, warrior pose, a nice standing pose to strengthen the whole body from the feet up. So pass this along to someone you think might like it. Hit the like button. Click subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.